In this question, we're given the electron configuration of an atom, and we're going to use that to figure out which atom it is. So here, we're given this electron configuration. It's in noble gas formation. We've got krypton as our noble gas element, and then we've got the rest of the electron configuration shown. The first question asks, how many valence electrons does the atom have? So looking at our configuration, the highest number energy level shown is energy level five, and we can see we've got 5s2 and 5p3. So in our fifth energy level, we have a total of five electrons. That is our valence energy level because it's the highest energy level, the outermost one. So that's our valence electrons. We've got five in total. Remember that the 4d electrons don't count as valence electrons here since they're in the fourth energy level. And valence means the outermost energy level, which here is energy level five. Okay, the next question asks, how many electrons does the atom have in total? Okay, so first we've got krypton as our base. So let's head to our periodic table on the reference sheet and find krypton. Here's krypton here. We can see krypton has 36 as its atomic number, which means it has 36 protons and therefore 36 electrons in a neutral atom. So the krypton part already shows us we have 36 electrons there. Then we also have two more electrons in our 5s subshell, 10 more electrons in our 4d subshell, and three more electrons in our 5p subshell. So we have a total of 36 from krypton, two from the 5s subshell, 10 from the 4d subshell, and three from the 5p subshell. So adding those all together, we have 51 electrons in total. So our final step is to figure out which element does this neutral atom belong to? It's important it tells us it's neutral. That means the number of protons and electrons will be the same. So we're looking for an element with 51 electrons and therefore 51 protons. So heading back to our periodic table, which element has 51 protons? That means its atomic number is 51. That would be antimony, which is shown here, which we can see has an atomic number in the top left of 51, meaning 51 protons and 51 electrons in a neutral atom. So which element? It's gonna be antimony. So in these questions, we're just using our electron configuration to figure out the number of valence electrons and the total electrons. And then we're using that with our periodic table to find out which element the atom belongs to.